Greetings, travel enthusiasts and history buffs alike. Welcome to a journey through time and culture in the city of Florence, Italy. Known as the birthplace of the Renaissance, Florence is a treasure trove of art, history, and culture. This city, nestled in the heart of Tuscany, has a rich tapestry of stories woven into its cobblestone streets and grandiose buildings. It's a city that was once the epicenter of medieval European trade and finance, a vibrant hub of human achievement. Every corner of Florence tells a tale of its glorious past, from the awe-inspiring architecture to the world-class art adorning its many galleries. Its Renaissance spirit continues to thrive, echoing in the bustling piazzas, the centuries-old churches, and the timeless beauty of its skyline. So prepare yourselves for a whirlwind tour of this magnificent city. So buckle up, as we embark on a journey through the historical landmarks of this magnificent city, our first stop is the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, or, as it's more commonly known, the Duomo. This remarkable structure is not just the heart of Florence, it's the city's soul, encapsulating centuries of history, artistry, and faith. The Duomo's story begins in the late 13th century, when the foundation stones were first laid. Over the course of the next 140 years, the cathedral slowly took shape, its construction a testament to the dedication and skill of countless craftsmen. Its completion in the 15th century marked a crowning achievement for the city, a symbol of its prosperity and influence. But it's perhaps the cathedral's dome, an architectural marvel designed by Filippo Brunelleschi, that truly sets the Duomo apart. This magnificent structure, rising to a height of nearly 115 meters, was an audacious feat of engineering. In a time before modern construction techniques, Brunelleschi had to innovate, creating unique machines and methods to bring his vision to life. Today the dome remains the largest brick dome ever constructed, a testament to Brunelleschi's genius and the enduring ingenuity of the Renaissance. When you look at the Duomo it's not just a building you see, it's a canvas, adorned with intricate carvings and a facade of polychrome marble panels in various shades of green and pink, bordered by white. The cathedral's interior is equally impressive, housing priceless works of art and a stunning fresco that covers the inside of the dome. But beyond its physical beauty, the Duomo holds a deeper significance. It's a symbol of Florence's rich history, a beacon that has stood watch over the city throughout centuries of change. It's a place of worship, a place of celebration, a place where the spirit of the city comes alive. Whether it's the first time you're laying eyes on it or you're lucky enough to see it every day, the Duomo has a way of captivating you, of making you feel part of something greater. It's a masterpiece of the human spirit, a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream and have the courage to bring those dreams to life. The Duomo stands as a testament to the city's artistic and architectural prowess during the Renaissance period. Just a stone's throw away from the Duomo, we find the Florence Baptistry. This ancient monument, believed to be among the oldest buildings in Florence, has seen over a thousand years of history. Its age is a testament to the enduring faith and strength of this city. Now let's talk about its stunning bronze doors. Crafted by the great Lorenzo Ghiberti, these doors are no less than a masterpiece. Each panel depicts a scene from the Bible, intricately designed and beautifully crafted. These doors, often referred to as the Gates of Paradise, are indeed a sight to behold. The Florence Baptistry has played a significant role in the religious history of Florence. It's here that all Florentines were baptized until the end of the 19th century. This includes notable figures like Dante Alighieri and members of the Medici family. This octagonal building is indeed a symbol of the city's rich religious history. Adjacent to the Duomo and the Baptistery, we have Giotto's Campanile. A striking structure this Campanile, or bell tower, is a testament to the genius of Giotto di Bondone, the renowned architect and painter. Designed in the early 14th century the Campanile stands as a harmonious blend of Gothic and Renaissance styles, a representation of the transition between two grand epics of art. Giotto's Campanile is not just a bell tower, but a canvas that tells a story of human endeavor, with its intricate bay reliefs and statues. Giotto's genius lies in his ability to capture the spirit of his time and transform it into an architectural marvel. Its historical significance is immense. The Campanile has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the evolution of art and culture and the transformation of Florence itself. Today it stands tall and proud, a silent observer of history and a beacon of Florence's rich past. 
This towering structure is a standalone masterpiece that adds to the city's skyline. Leaving the religious center we now head to the political heart of the city, Piazza della Signoria and Palazzo Vecchio. This bustling square teeming with life is a testament to the city's storied past. It's where Florentines have gathered for centuries to witness pivotal moments in history, from public speeches to tumultuous political events. The Piazza della Signoria is not just a historical monument, it's the living, breathing heart of Florence. The square is adorned with a collection of sculptures that act as silent witnesses to history. The replica of Michelangelo's David, Hercules and Cacus, and the equestrian statue of Cosimo I are just a few of the masterpieces gracing the square. Each statue tells a tale of the city's past, reflecting the artistic and political spirit of the Renaissance period. The focal point of the square is the imposing Palazzo Vecchio, a fortress-like symbol of the city's political power. Its crenellated tower standing tall against the skyline is a reminder of Florence's turbulent past. Inside, the palace is a treasure trove of ornate rooms and stunning frescoes, each a testament to the city's rich cultural heritage. The Hall of the 500, the largest room in the palace, is a marvel of artistic grandeur. Its walls echo with the voices of the influential leaders who once walked its floors. But the Palazzo Vecchio and Piazza della Signoria are not just relics of a bygone era. They continue to serve as the epicenter of the city's political life, with the Palazzo Vecchio housing the office of the mayor and the city council. It's where the past and present intermingle, where history is not just remembered, but lived. For centuries this square has been the center of political life in Florence. It's a place where power was wielded, where decisions that shaped the city were made. It's a testament to Florence's enduring spirit, a symbol of its resilience and its unwavering commitment to progress and cultural advancement. It's the heart of Florence pulsating with life, echoing with history, and resonating with the spirit of the Renaissance. For centuries this square has been the center of political life in Florence. Moving along the Arno River, we come upon the Ponte Vecchio Bridge. This remarkable edifice is a testament to Florence's rich history and architectural prowess. Built during the Roman times and later reconstructed in the 14th century, the bridge has weathered wars, floods and the passage of time standing as a beacon of endurance and resilience. Its unique design, a combination of shops suspended over the river, is a sight to behold. These establishments, once home to butchers and fishmongers, now house some of the city's finest jewelers and art dealers. More than just a crossing point, the Ponte Vecchio Bridge has always played a pivotal role in connecting different parts of the city. The bridge's pedestrian pathway, known as Corridoio Vasariano, is a silent witness to countless tales of love, dreams, and life in Florence. This enduring structure is indeed a symbol of Florence's resilience through the ages. Our journey concludes with the Uffizi Gallery, a treasure trove of art. This isn't just a gallery, it's a journey through time, a portal into the minds of great artists who've shaped the world of art as we know it. The Uffizi Gallery, originally designed in the 16th century by Giorgio Vasari, started as offices, or Uffizi in Italian, for Florentine magistrates, but it wasn't long before it began its transformation into one of the world's most celebrated art museums, thanks to the Medici family. Upon the extinction of their lineage, the last of the Medicis bequeathed the entire collection to the city of Florence, under the condition that it never leaves the city. The gallery is home to an impressive array of masterpieces from illustrious artists. It houses works from the likes of Sandro Botticelli, Leonardo da Vinci, and Michelangelo, just to name a few. It's here that you'll find Botticelli's renowned The Birth of Venus and Primavera, along with Caravaggio's Medusa. Every turn within this labyrinth of art reveals another marvel, another piece of history immortalized in paint and canvas. But what makes the Uffizi Gallery truly stand out? is its significance in the world of art. It's not just a repository of art pieces, it's an emblem of the Renaissance, a period that saw a great explosion of creativity, innovation, and humanistic thought. It stands as a testament to a time when art was not only a form of expression but a catalyst for cultural and intellectual revolution. Moreover, the Uffizi Gallery is more than a museum, it's a beacon of art preservation and art education. The gallery continues to inspire artists, scholars, and art enthusiasts worldwide, encouraging a deeper appreciation for art and its profound impact on society and culture. To walk through the Uffizi Gallery is to walk through the annals of art history, 
to witness the evolution of artistic styles, and to appreciate the genius of the masters who've left an indelible mark on the world of art. The Uffizi Gallery is a testament to Florence's enduring legacy as a center of art and culture. It's not just a destination but a journey into the heart of art itself. And with that, we conclude our journey through the historical landmarks of Florence, Italy. We've traversed the grandeur of the Duomo the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, marveled at the ancient Florence Baptistery, and stood in awe at Giotto's standalone masterpiece, the Campanile. We've savored the heartbeat of the city at Piazza della Signoria and Palazzo Vecchio, felt the enduring spirit of the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, and delved into a treasure trove of art at the Uffizi Gallery, each location, an indelible part of Florence's rich tapestry, each with a story to tell, a memory to share. In the span of just 10 minutes we've barely scratched the surface of this city's historical and cultural richness, but hopefully this journey has sparked your curiosity, inspired your wanderlust, and given you a taste of the magic that is Florence. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, safe travels.